Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O Father, whose creating hand brings harvest from the fruitful land, your providence we gladly own, and bring our hymns before your throne, to praise you for the living bread on which our lives are daily fed. O Lord, who in the desert fed the hungry thousands in their need, where want and famine still abound, let your relieving love be found. And in your name may we supply your hungry children when they cry. O Spirit, your revealing light has led our questing souls aright. Source of our science, you have taught the marvels human minds have wrought, so that the barren deserts yield the bounty by your love revealed. The Lord, the mighty God, will come forth from Zion to set his people free. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, on our lips there were songs. The heathens themselves said, What marvels the Lord worked for them! What marvels the Lord worked for us! Indeed, we were glad. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing with when they reap. They go out, they go out full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back full of song, carrying their sheaves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you have raised us from the earth. May you let the seeds of justice, which we have sown in tears, grow and increase in your sight. May we reap and enjoy the harvest we hope for patiently. The Lord, the mighty God, will come forth from Zion to set his people free. I shall not cease to plead with God for Zion until he sends his Holy One in all his radiant beauty. If the Lord does not build the house, in vain does its builders labor. If the Lord does not watch over the city, in vain does the watchman keep vigil. In vain is your earlier rising, your going later to rest, you who toil for the bread you eat, when he pours gifts on his beloved while they slumber. Truly sons are a gift from the Lord, a blessing, the fruit of the womb. Indeed, the sons of youth are like arrows in the hand of a warrior. Oh, the happiness of a man who has filled his quiver with these arrows. He will have no cause for shame when he disputes with his foes in the gateways. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You command the seed to rise, Lord God, though the former is unaware. Grant that those who labor for you may trust not in their own work, but in your help. Remembering that the land is brought to flower not with human tears, but with those of your Son, may the church rely only upon your gifts. I shall not cease to plead with God for Zion until he sends his Holy One in all his radiant beauty. The Spirit of the Lord rests upon me. He has sent me to preach his joyful message to the poor. Let us give thanks to the Lord for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in light. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In him everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. We were created through him. All were created for him. He is before all else that is. In him everything continues in being. 
It is he who is head of the body, the church, he who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, so that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him and, by means of him, to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord rests upon me. He has sent me to preach his joyful message to the poor. A reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 1. We await the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ, who will strengthen us to the end, so that we will be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and it was He who called us to fellowship with His Son. Come and set us free, Lord God of power and might. Come and set us free, Lord God of power and might. Let your face shine upon us, and we shall be saved, Lord God of power and might. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Come and set us free, Lord God of power and might. O Key of David, O Royal Power of Israel, controlling at your will the gate of heaven, come, break down the prison walls of death for those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and lead your captive people into freedom. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O Key of David, O royal power of Israel, controlling at your will the gate of heaven, come, break down the prison walls of death for those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and lead your captive people into freedom. To Christ, our Lord and Redeemer, who will appear openly on the last day, let us joyfully pray, Come, Lord Jesus. Our Redeemer and Lord, by your birth as a man, you freed us from the yoke of the law. Complete in us the works of your loving kindness. From us you took whatever served your divinity. Give us whatever we need to serve you. Grant the desire we ask of you today. Inflame our hearts with the fire of your love. On earth we live with you by faith. In glory may we rejoice with you. Steep the souls of the faithful departed in the dew of your loving kindness. Let us again offer our praise to God and pray in the words of Christ. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us again offer our praise to God, and pray in the words of Christ. God of love and mercy, help us to follow the example of Mary, always ready to do your will. At the message of an angel, she welcomed your eternal Son, and filled with the light of your Spirit, she became the temple of your Word, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. 
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.